Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. I wanted to come out real quick today and share something with you. Um, I have a lot actually to share with you. It's just things have been so busy, so crazy lately. I just haven't had time uh, to come out here. And so uh, I wanted to just take a few minutes and uh, share a dream I was given this morning. And my friend Rhonda, I shared it with her and actually she had been given a dream two days ago, which confirms what I was shown and I don't know if she's going to do a video on it, but uh, you might want to watch for that. But in the dream I was given last night, I was standing in my living room and I was telling my husband, Alan, I said, this is the first year we didn't give our neighbors Christmas gifts or Christmas cards. And, uh, and as soon as I said that, I started to hear a song playing and it was a very soft a uh, very gentle, slow melody, a woman was singing, and the words were, Oh God, we are leaving. We are leaving. Oh God, we are leaving. We are leaving. And I woke up. And so, like I said, I shared the dream with my friend Rhonda, and she pointed out that the neighbors are symbolic of all the people that we've ever cross paths with and Christmas is symbolic of the message of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ the free gift of salvation so in other words uh, we will not be doing that anymore our work is completed uh, and and in Rhonda's dream she was packing a suitcase getting stuff ready to go and she saw where there were a lot of leftover Christmas items she knew Christmas was over again that time of sharing, that time of telling people about the free gift of salvation is coming to a close. And that song, we are leaving, we are leaving. And so I don't know the day, I don't know the hour, but church, I'm telling you, it's coming, it's coming. And all that matters is that we are focused on the Lord right now staying hidden in that secret place with him, I know the waiting can be difficult. And I received uh, an email from a friend today who basically feels that dying would be better than living. And what I said to, to this person is, I understand that life can be brutal. It can be really hard. But what we have to remember is who we're living for. We're here for the Lord Jesus. We're here to carry out his mission the great commission sharing the truth with the, the world and from the things that i'm being shown and rhonda it sounds like that time is coming to a close quickly so church let's do all we can to plant those seeds of truth uh, to let the people know around us that we love them especially if they're not believers uh, ensuring that they have the truth to hold on to should that day come when we're no longer here. So I hope, I pray this message encourages and blesses you. And like I said, I do have a lot of other things to share that I plan to come out as soon as I have a little bit of time and talk to you about some warnings, uh, post-apocalyptic type dreams that I've been being given. So stay hidden, church, in Christ. And as always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.